Hey friends, today I'm going to paint with Cobra water mixable oil. I've listed the colors to the left. I'm going to be painting Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about fear. He was a serial killer after all. Many artists approach the canvas with fear. We're afraid to mess it up. Art supplies are expensive and we want to create a masterpiece. But all that pressure keeps us from being free. It keeps us from making bold strokes and creative choices. Instead, we get a shy, timid piece of work that doesn't speak to anyone. I'm trying to let go of fear. I'm starting with the largest brush I have and blocking in the big shapes. I want to keep it loose and have fun. I'm not interested in photorealism. I'm more interested in creating a quick impression of a subject. I'm using a vibrant underpainting to block out the main shapes and I'll tone it down later. The main thing is just to get a bunch of paint on canvas as fast as possible. Not terribly concerned with likeness just yet, I'll refine it as we go along. One of my main goals is to be able to approach a canvas and freely create what I see. Painting really is about seeing. Stepping back and seeing the shapes for what they are, not how you perceive them to be. Nobody picked up a paintbrush and was instantly a master. It takes time and practice and patience. And the key is to realize that it's the journey that counts. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's not the outcome initially. You've got to go through a lot of less than masterful artwork to get to the uh, masterwork stage. There's a great life lesson there for me as I try to approach life without fear and to paint in bold strokes, both on the canvas and in real life. We've only got a limited amount of time here. Better make the most of it. Since the movie takes place in the 80s, I composed a synthwave score for this. Hope you like it. I've painted the eyes too big, and that's not really a big deal because I'll go back and fix that. I think that's a common issue, especially if you've drawn a lot of cartoons or come from an anime background to make oversized eyes. I'm using this pretty much straight out of the tube, except for the initial wash. I like flipping the canvas upside down because that helps me see the shapes for what they are and not how I think they should be. It's a great tool to see where your lightness is off. Here's a look at my messy palette. I need more palette discipline. I'm keeping the details in his jacket less specific. I want the focus to be on the face. I think that's an important part of art and painting is to direct the viewer where you want them to look. I keep refining the eyes here. They're still a little too big, so I'm squinting them down, then adding some more shading here, some more highlights. Now I'm finishing off the jacket, still keeping it vibrant and stylized. Adding some reflected light into the shadows, which I think really rounds out the form. Some final highlight work here. And here is the finished product. I think it's a stylized version of the subject. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you can approach your creative work without fear. Until next time, have fun creating.